in this question we have two elements, lithium and sodium. And we're provided with their atomic radius in the table. We're then asked to estimate the atomic radius of potassium. So first let's find all of those elements in our periodic table. So lithium is here in our periodic table. Sodium is here and potassium is here. So we've got those three elements right there. So if we take a look at these, these are all in group one, but lithium is in period two, sodium is in period three, and potassium is in period four. So in previous questions, we've gone through the logic for figuring out the trends. So here, lithium only has two energy levels, whereas sodium has three and potassium has four. So as we go down our periodic table, we're increasing the number of energy levels. And increasing the number of energy levels means we're increasing the distance away that the electrons are from the nucleus. And that means we're increasing the atomic radius. So because of that, potassium should have the greatest atomic radius, followed by sodium and then lithium. They're all in the same group. And as a result, they have the same effective nuclear charge. The same ZF. So the only thing affecting our atomic radius is going to be the number of energy levels. So if we look at our numbers, lithium, we're given 167 picometers as the atomic radius. Sodium is 190. So we're expecting potassium to be greater than that. So let's have a look at our options here. So lithium was 176, uh, sorry, 167. Sodium is 190. Potassium is going to be even greater than that. So potassium must be 243. So in these questions, we're using exactly the same trends as we have so far, but we're just applying them to real numbers to predict what the value will be for the remaining element.